welcome guys uh, let's uh, continue uh, uh, in previous uh, video I ask you to just uh, think or note down the differences between AC and DC and why AC uh, was preferred and still we are preferring AC uh, in transmission distribution and uh, uh, generation uh, site uh, not uh, the DC power supply so the reason uh, let's start let's explore okay AC supplies can easily be generated at convenient voltages uh, you know that uh, generation in alternate is, alternator is always uh, AC so AC supply is a natural generated supply in generators mostly because most of the our generation is through uh, generators okay Trans uh, voltage transformed hence the name transformer into much higher level of voltages and then distributed around the country using a national grid of pylons and cables over very long distances so uh, once alternating current is generated it is step up and after stepping up it is then uh, uh, transmitted then uh, to another substation at substation this AC current is further uh, down step okay the voltage are reduced step down uh, and and then it's further is uh, then uh, uh, for example a generator is producing a voltage uh, this power at 11 kV then it is a step up at the 132 kV further it is step up to, to 220 or 500 kV then again again this 132 kV is bring down to 11 and then like 11 kV is again bring down to 220 volts okay uh, the reason for transforming the voltage to much higher level what's the reason why we are doing it because at higher distribution and transmission voltages the I square losses are less so what's the formula for the power loss the formula for power loss is I square into R so resistance is constant here we can't uh, change the resistance ideally we are using a material with the very less resistance so that it should not uh, uh, have a uh, losses uh, uh, by the way uh, if R is higher so how the losses are occurred in the conductor have you thought this so the answer is uh, the losses are appearing in the shape of heating so the uh, conductor is started to heat up and also this uh, heating is putting limit on the conductor uh, basically current carrying capacity of the conductor itself so that's why it is said that if you can keep a conductor cold, you can increase the current. Okay, the next you'll see the next point, these higher AC transmission voltages and currents can then be reduced to a much lower level, safer level, usable voltage level, where it can be used to supply electrical equipment in our homes and workplaces. And all this is possible thanks to basic voltage transformer. So uh, at uh, distribution, at transmission level, uh, it is uh, desirable that we should uh, use high voltages like 132 kV, 500 kV or more. But if losses are less, then why we are not using high voltage equipment in our houses? So this is a question. So what do you think? What could be the answer? So answer is, first of all, high voltage equipment is not safe to work. In, in houses because it's very dangerous secondly if you use a higher voltage there is a cost of insulation versus cost of copper so if you use higher voltage equipment to increase the safety you have to have a very high level of insulation the equipment size will increase so that's why voltage has to decrease here the for, for at usable voltages so this is the reason and that uh, and, and because transmit uh, this AC supply mainly we have a transformers so thanks to transformers that we could do this stepping up and stepping down so thank you very much uh, uh,